Not that many students come in with like a lot of like a lot of programming experience. Exactly. Um, this is probably one of the better ways of teaching like problem solving skills and like like logical step steps because you don't you don't have to deal with like different nuances in terms of like memory storage and like syntax, yeah, totally. which which in C plus plus and Java you have to know in order to, in order Constantly. to instantly ex exactly. Yes. But like here with Sage, it's like it uses Python, which allevi alleviates most of that problem, and plus there's no need for you to like compile or like use an, use other or even write a whole program in. Like in, a in a file. separate file. You just right. interact in a worksheet. Exactly, which makes it so much easier. And I've seen like students like they they like the fact that they use um the single worksheet as a like a way to like build up to like a certain problem of like building a bifurcation diagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So like it's it's very useful in like teach in like teaching like problem solving and like debugging, which is which I, I actually wish I had this when I was like learning programming, but I remember, like, to teach myself just how a computer thinks and how coding works, I had to spend hours just watching videos online. Mm -hmm. um, but Sage really, like, really, like, if, even if you move on to other languages, it, it's so helpful in just, like, understanding the basis of coding. You yeah. see Sage being used uh, really powerfully in a context where you're, you have, you know, biologists who don't necessarily yep. know how to yep. code and how to use Python can pick up Sage very easily and, yeah. and, and just and just harness the same powers that you would if you knew how to use Python.